Hello grade 5 students, I hope everyone is doing great. Last week we already discussed about the founding of the Virginia colony and we found out what life was like in Virginia, including the colony's early economy and government, as well as the conflicts with neighboring Native Americans. Now we're going to discuss lesson 4 of chapter 4, which is about the French and the Dutch. The learning objective of this lesson class is to describe how European nations struggled for control of North America. Last week, we talked about Spain and England colonies in North America, right? And today's lesson, we're going to find out more about French and Dutch colonies. But before that, let's unlock some vocabulary words of this lesson. Okay, we have only four words. Number one is demand, which is a desire for a good or service by people willing to pay for it. Number two is supply, means the amount of a good that is offered for sale. Number three is ally, means a partner. And number four, we have the word proprietary colony, which is a colony owned by one person who was chosen by a king or queen. Now let's start with the new friends. The content focus grade 5 of this part of the lesson is French merchants built colonies in the Americas in order to trade for furs. Okay, they started Quebec, the first colony what is now Canada in 1608. Okay, so let's find out more. While Spain and England were building colonies in North America as what you have learned from the last week lesson, France Grade 5 was also claiming land in water today, Canada, and the northeastern United States. French claims to this region, which became known as New France. Begun with Jacques Cartier, he explored the St. Lawrence River in the early 1500s. He also started a trading partnership with the Huron people. Remember Huron? It is one of the Great Lakes. All right? French merchants who wanted the wealth that came from the fur trade. The French king wanted to add to his country's power, so what he did, he pushed merchants to start colonies in North America. Okay, so in time, a group of merchants hired Samuel de Champlain to find a place to settle in, I mean to build a settlement. So in 1608, Champlain founded Quebec along the St. Lawrence River. So Quebec grade 5 was the first French settlement in North America. Okay, some French or French fur traders also live with the Native Americans. They learn their languages and ways of life. Since these traders spent much of their time trapping and hunting, they did not build many long-lasting settlements. All right, actually grade five, most French people were not interested in moving to North America. So in the 1600s, the French built only two main settlements in all of North America. Okay, that was Quebec and Montreal. So by 1625, the population of Quebec had grown to only about 60 people. Now let's move to New Netherland. Not long ago, grade 5, after the English started colonies in North America, the Dutch began to settle their own colony. All right, and they call it New Netherland. They built settlements along the Hudson River in parts of what are now New York and New Jersey. All right, and let me tell you this, that many Europeans named their American settlements after places in their homelands. Often, or they simply added new to a place name, such as New Spain, New England, New France, New Netherlands, New Amsterdam, and New Sweden. The Dutch fur trade. The Dutch set up a colony in order to profit from their fur trade. All right, the demand or the desire for furs was high. The Dutch traded with Native Americans' grade 5, adding to their supply of fur. 
Okay, remember supply is the amount of a good that is offered for sale. So when the demand for a good is high and the supply of a good is low, the price of the good usually goes up. By 1626, Rabbi Peter Menuhot was governor of New Netherland, and during this time, the Dutch believed they had bought Manhattan Island from the Native Americans who were living there. All right, the Dutch bought Manhattan Island Grade Five from the Native Americans with trade goods such as beads, pots, and pens. Native Americans thought these goods were given for the use of the lands. Okay, and then in 1662, the Dutch began laying out a town on the south end of Manhattan Island, and they called the settlement New Amsterdam, after the city of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. New Amsterdam was built next to a harbor where the Hudson River flows into the Atlantic Ocean. And then by 1630s, New Amsterdam had about 200 people and 30 houses. There were houses for storing food and furs. And for protection, the Dutch built a fort with high walls made of stone. Another colony grade five was New Sweden. All right, in 1638, Swedish settlers founded the colony of New Sweden to the south of New Netherland. New Sweden included parts of present-day Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. All right, so when the Swedes began building homes, the Dutch worried that these new settlers would enter the fur trade. So the Dutch colonists and the Algonquian who lived nearby had a strong fur trading relationship. So this relationship would soon face trouble. And by the late 1630s, conflicts with the Native Americans had gone because the settlers had created more lands for farms. And in 1645, after many colonists and Native Americans had been killed, the two sides signed a peace of treaty. And by then, the Algonquian of New Netherland have almost been wiped out. All right, so that's for today, grade five. Thank you for listening and bye.